you know, I can't leave anything alone. It's kind of an expression of yourself in a way. I want to take you guys on a tour of my 2008 Ford F550 welding rig. Kind of like my dream setup. I bought the truck, obviously used with a lot of miles on it, had a service bed on it. Everything on the truck is something that I have written in a note section of my phone and been like, someday I will save up the money and buy this one little widget or part. You know, in time and taking the money that I make with a truck and reinvesting it back into the truck, you can build it out the way that you want. It's probably filthy under here, but that's okay. It's a real truck. The guys at Pure Addiction Diesel kind of helped work with me to build a super reliable 6.4 liter power stroke engine. Plenty of power to do some donuts. Not something I normally do, but you know, when we're shooting a video for YouTube and we really kind of want to tell a story about what the truck does, I mean, you know, send it. This truck weighs 11,500 pounds. That truck rides so rough because it's designed to carry so much weight. Putting the nicest shocks that I could possibly get on there was like the best way to get the best ride possible. I did recently put the uh, King Ranch heated seats in it out of the same era truck. This thing's got roll down windows. You know, it's not that fancy. But that's kind of nice. Like you want that kind of stuff in a work truck. And then of course, the integral part of the bed um, is the Ranger 330 MPX. We just swapped this out for the EFI version. The original Ranger I had on the truck for a couple years and I replaced my big diesel Vantage 322. People sent me messages like, man, like why would you get rid of that thing? Like that's such a nice welder. And I got rid of it because the Ranger was just a better solution for the type of work that I do and, and what I needed. I have very high standards for what something should run like, what it should feel like. So we're headed up to uh, altitude now to test out the new Ranger 330 MPX EFI. All right, we're up at the Overlook Hotel, 6,300 feet. It's cold up here. Having the electronic fuel injection. Nice. It's gonna automatically compensate for these changes in altitude and temperature and things like that. You know, it's having that just acute advantage over the last one is a huge deal for me when I'm pushing these machines to the limit. A lot of welders, I think, are afraid of this new technology, but man, does it make your life a lot easier when you don't have arc wander or arc blow. You have infinite adjustability and your machine runs consistent every single time you turn it on. I really use my truck every single day. I rely on my truck every day. A lot of the work that gets done to it just kind of gets done as it goes in for service. While we were out shooting, I noticed a couple little things that were acting up and took photos and notes and passed those along to my mechanics and they're gonna address those things when it goes in for its next service.
my best advice to people that want to build a welding rig is start with something that's simple. You can always invest money in aftermarket parts as time goes on. Find a good, clean, reliable, older truck. Just kind of start adding parts to it that make you happy.